Welcome back, everybody. We're over here on UMRV, and I want to wish everyone first a belated Merry Christmas and an early Happy New Year. So, happy holidays from all of us at Three Dudes uh, to all of you. Hey, Doe Boy. I hear you're going to be a little late today, but uh, it's all good. Uh, let's go ahead and get on with the action. So, we've already got our... Um... <clears throat> We've already got. Spray these fuels before we cultivate them. Uh, yeah, we can. The sprayers are up at 21. Uh, we use liquid. The horses. Uh, we can do that. We can use solid. We can use whatever. Yeah. Tell me what you want. Uh, let me get up here quick. So we've got all the uh, early harvest in. And uh, now we're going to uh, get these fields turned around uh, before the end of middle summer so that we can uh, put beans in here. And basically we'll have beans all over the place. This field. This field looks done. Oh, it's still growing. Bright old yellow, whatever it is. So we're bringing our cultivators over here, a genetic J, to uh, field nine. So we've got chopped straw down. So if we cultivate that, that's going to give us one fertilization level. Hey Jay, how you doing? So we've got chopped straw. So that's going to give us one fertilizer level. Uh, if we spray, it's going to we're going to start with two, and then we can just plant. And uh, then we'll be done. So yeah, I'm fine right, with I'm that. In, I'm, in, I'm in one of the horses now. I'm on the way over. To it's got 3,100 liters of liquid in it. We got liquid somewhere on the map, or? Yeah, we got it somewhere. <clears throat> I've got a whole 107 liters. Ooh, ooh. My dad can beat up your dad. <laughs> I'll be able to spray for about a second. Did you have a good holiday? Yeah, it wasn't bad. More glad it's over than it's anything else. It's really not over yet. We gotta go get it's over when I get back. These headphones sound any different? It's water. Um, I don't know. It's any better or not? I said something under my breath that I keep uh, rolling over my uh, headphone cords on the other set that I had. My wife went out and bought me a set of Corsair Voids. It's right there. the wireless one. <clears throat> yeah, I got a tanker with 25,000 liters of liquid in it. Cool. Hey, country girl. I kept running over it with my chair and the cord would get tied up in the caster. I feel your pain. Only problem is it's got that RGB lighting on it and I think all that does is drain the battery. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> yeah, I'm seeing the uh, preview in my uh, preview window, Dead Boy, so... Should be coming through just good. Where are we at? Where's field nine?
All right, so we'll send, uh, we'll go up here and uh, we will set the truck to, whoa, follow me. Classic ste steer, steering via keyboard, even though I got a wheel. Where are you, what are you doing? I don't know why I tell you to follow me, you just drive off at the side. At any rate. <clears throat> Should we just get your desk set up? It's, it's one of those point and no turn type things. So did you see in my post about that Satec uh, farm sim controller for 125? Man, you can't beat that price. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, but it's the whole deal. It's the wheel, the side controller, and the pedals. The company's from South Africa. I ordered a headphone stand from them for 30 bucks, and I think I'm going to wait to see how long it takes for them to get that in and, and see that. It just, I'm always leery of deals like that. It usually sounds too good to be true. Yeah, you know, you heard my input, so... I know I would shy away from it because it just sounds too, too good. Especially since it's like half off the uh, the manufacturer's cost. Right. Well, I ordered, like I said, I ordered a, a sixty dollar uh, headphone stand for thirty bucks with free shipping from the same company, and uh, I ordered that on Christmas Day, and they sent me an email the day after Christmas saying that uh, they're going to send me another email when the uh, order ships. So. We'll see. And it's shipping from South Africa? I <clears throat> couldn't really tell because there's a statement on their thing that says that the direct seller will uh, email you when it ships. I assume that... Probably drop shipping. Well, worse comes to worse, you can always just use the side panel. And, uh, I mean, it would be a, be a regular price side panel. And that's, that's bound to work pretty decent. I'm worried, more worried about them stealing my credit card number mm. and, uh, yeah. and me being out 125 bucks. So I figure for 30 bucks I can't go wrong. But it's like that African prince who will send us a lot of money because uh, he, he can't uh, put his inheritance in the bank and he needs our bank account. All right, you want me to fill it up? Fill you up? Yeah, if you Whoa. want. Whoa. I mean, this, this is South Africa. I think it's a little different than, what was it, Nairobi or wherever that other one claims to be from? Kenya. Nairobi or Kenya or... Wherever it is. Right. It looks like a legitimate website. It says they're an, ed an educational website, but I don't know how a farming controller and a Ferrari racing wheel is uh, educational, but who knows? Is it not taken? No. There we go. There it goes. 
So I'm pretty sure that I've got at least three people upstairs streaming. Because I've got some pretty big lag going on here. I'm really sure what's going on with that. Drop this truck off over here across the street, and I'll be right with you. Yeah, I'm just waiting for you. This won't take too long with these booms. This is that weird shaped field though. It's got those little fingers in the back. Yep. Can't really tell where you've been. Taking it. Yeah, it's taking it. It's yeah, just. I can't see where this is going. Can you? Not really, but it's taking it. It's pretty faint. It might be best to uh... cultivate this dry and then spray it. Well, if we cultivate it, it'll be fertilized. We'll have to uh, cultivate it, seed it, and wait for first growth. Otherwise, we're not really going to see where we're going. Because <clears throat> we can't really set this up on GPS because it's just too much of a round field. So ditch the sprayers? Yeah, we'll do that. Whose dumb idea was it to spray first night anyway? Well, it would have been fine if the chopped straw texture wasn't so dense. Hey, Gabe, how you doing? That was me. Yeah, I know. I just like these prayers. Well, I switched the uh, Massey Ferguson sprayer out that I was using on <coughs> that I was using on Midtown for uh, for that one because the uh, Massey Ferguson sprayer just had horrible visibility. I guess that would be really, really, really important if you're streaming. Well, if you try to drive first person and you can't see because there's this giant uh, monitor in the, in the cab. No. Visibility, third person, you know, it's the same. It's just... In cab, it was awful because you just had this giant monitor on the right. Then you had the big steering wheel and dash in the middle, and that's about all you could see. Joe Boy's in chat, he's saying he's encoding a video, he's like 82%. So, once his paint dries, he'll be able to come in. Silver Dragon isn't in your chat, is he? Uh, I haven't seen him, no.
haven't seen much of him since uh, just last last week. Yeah, we haven't either. That's why I was asking. How long have you been over at Delta Bravo? I just I saw you post about the side tech the other day, and then it didn't click until this morning. I was like, oh wait, how long has he been over there? I ran into some problems with the uh, map we were playing on the Step and Bop Mac, and I got an invite because I guess they play on that pretty regularly. Tonight, J uh, set me up. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're doing a seasons multiplayer economy type thing. Yeah, they they finally finished that one up. So the economy finished the third year up. I don't know what they're doing now. But Delta told me to invite you. There you go. Blame them. <laughs> <laughs> So they did uh, fix the um, the cultivation bug, I guess, with the with the uh, the update, the most recent update. I was able to fertilize some fields after I cultivated. Yeah, I saw that. I was hoping Dubbo would come in because it sounded like he wanted to talk about something related to the next project. I don't know what he was wanting to talk about. You think that, are those horse cultivators wider than than these cultivators? I don't know. I've never used that horse cultivator. So what's rendering, Doughboy? Is it, uh, is it the Cletus? I was just seeing it miss, miss patches and I thought maybe one of those other cultivators would uh, hug the field better. Let's check. 
I'll get them, but it's just taking a little time, that's all. 18.2. Now these are 12. Now this one's 18.2 and all the horse stuff's 12. I think the only thing bigger than this one is the uh, that other big bud cultivator, the one that folds up so much. Yeah, I think that one is bigger. But... Yeah, that one's 24 meters. Probably a little harder to uh, play with when you get three tools on the same field or whatever. Oh, what are you doing? started to turn for no reason. I really like the in-game Lumpkin. That's my favorite cultivator for medium to small fields. The one that folds up? Yeah. Kind of forwards? Good. Yep. Kind of like this one, only smaller. <laughs> and blue. Yeah, I like the all rounder, it's not too bad. That one's blue, too. I think I come up with a temporary solution that can be moved when we have guests. I took a shelf out of the old desk and put it on top of this and sandwiched it. It seems to be pretty sturdy. Cool. It looks pretty ghetto, but...
The uh, map says we missed the whole section. And the map was right. Oh, sorry guys, I thought I muted the mic before I cleared my throat, but I guess I didn't. So, I was looking at the, uh, I was looking at Mr. Sealy P's video on this Porsche equipment, and I noticed that, uh, everything that has to do with fertilizing, so, like, the sprayer, the spreader, and the slurry injector, they all have the same working width of 36 meters. So I thought that was that was pretty cool from the standpoint of being able to set up one one course play course for any type of fertilizing if you use that equipment. Hey Tim, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good.
Oh, finally. Go <clears throat> boy coming in. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Right. <clears throat> Took an awful long time. Started it like two and a half hours ago. This is a slow render. So we could either, <clears throat> with Doughboy in, we could either um, have somebody start to seed this field, field nine, or we could just uh, fer cultivate some other field while I finish um, fertilizing this one. Whatever you all want to do. All the cultivators are up to the sheep farm. The... Uh, Cedars are over at field 21, that farm that's over there. Don't matter to me, what do you want me to do? You two are cultivating, you want me to seed it? Oh uh, yeah, if you want. <clears throat> it's like he's spraying now, we, we got two people spraying now. Soybeans. Oh, my dogs are going nuts. Okay, where's the other track? <clears throat> the John Deere is up at field twenty one conveniently where the cedars are. Where the uh, Rocky on Special is. Alright, we'll take this one. We've got all the bales we need, Austin. We've oh, got. I had viewers in chat. we got several hundred. Probably got tired of waiting. The. Uh, we all over in Clangs now, huh? Oh, I don't know. I hope. I hope they didn't just leave. I hope they're watching. Missed our bail party. We had a bailing party a couple streams ago. We got yeah, close to uh, 500 hay bales. Conveniently, somebody blocked all the entrances with some harvesters. Conveniently. We got about 500 hay bales, and we've got uh, nine. We got about uh, 250 or so uh, straw bales. And uh, with the way these fields are, we definitely don't want round bales because they'd be rolling all over the place. saw my response you asked which video was rendering did you see I saw you said the new map I don't know if you've ever yeah the new one's rend the new one is well it's uploading now so but uh, I'm gonna put Kalidus on to render as soon as I get out of the stream so because I missed today with we had a couple more visitors than anticipated I didn't get done what I wanted to get done so I'm gonna do a double release tomorrow. 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. So is this new map the island map or is this a new map new map? New map new map. The island map's a let's play. Or a uh, sorry, live stream map. Tune in for which nine or three? Do what? Oh, when nine o'clock. Nine o'clock for the new new map. Yes, sir. 
only person who knows about it is Doughboy. Surprise to everyone else. Well, now would you have me do it any different? <laughs> hey, Craig, how you doing? Is a video just 30 minutes? Yeah. How long, how long do they normally take to render for you? Uh, usually between an hour and two. My hey. computer is like running slow again. I need to run a scan and clean things up. But I'm waiting till Friday so I can renew my virus software so they can run a scan. Signs out. Yes, we did. Huh. I don't know how I'm supposed to get in that field, though. Oh. That's why. Oh, I was having a little difficulty because I had a guy on follow me that. I was going to be out of the way, but uh, I got a fertilizer sprayer that refused to follow me and was constantly wanting to follow Spectre's tractor. Are we all done? It's all yours. <coughs> Sorry about that. I did the same thing. I thought I was muted, but it turned out I wasn't. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Just cheat. Wrong one. There we go. Austin, you missed that too, man. We uh, we farmed every field on the map, and uh, all those fields are fully fertilized and are growing. There's nothing to do over there. Stuff to do over there very soon. But you see, they're all fully fertilized, and they're all in the growing stage. So, not a lot to do. Let's see here, where do we go? Let's go to 18 because we got a bunch of stuff on 15. Uh, what kind of control did you get, Craig?
22 here. Where is 11? Yeah, it was probably 20s here. You're further south than I am. You're in, did you say Virginia? Yeah. Unless you're northern Kentucky. All right, you want to? We want to skip night. That way, we can uh, farm in the daytime here. That'd be nice. You're the boss. Go turn something off that's running. <clears throat> Probably my tractor. Uh, Spectre likes to leave his stuff running. The only tracker that's running is the one I'm in. I know, I turned your sprayer off. He's turning that one off because I don't want I don't want to run up hours. I'll be right I'll, I'll be right back guys to blank this out for a moment. Are right, we ready? <clears throat> yeah, hold on, let me stop. Uh, right, go ahead. Ah, Frank is also in Virginia. And it's oh, raining. No. Stop raining. You gonna set GPS there? No, I was just gonna freehand the headlines, but I can't. That's the uh, that's the long straight edge of the field, so we might as well GPS from there and do a headland around the whole thing, and then just start coming up and backs.
Let's hit our little shopping cart. Got it. No. Now I got it. All right, see you later, Craig. I guess not. Or he's dead set against uh, against coming in or something. I don't know. And make an adjustment. Oh, you don't have the rock on special. You can't have too many tires. So my kid gave me quite the chuckle today. I'm saying my kid gave me quite a chuckle today. He got in his stocking a uh, some plastic ornaments that had candy in the middle of them. So he wanted me to open them up so he could eat some of the candy. So as he's eating the candy, he looks straight up in the sky and says, "Thank you, Santa, for bringing me the candy." It's quite hilarious. Yep, because we got too close to the magic wall and uh, makes turning around a whole lot easier. So Austin, this is actually one of the fields that we did a whole bunch of bailing on. See, we missed a little bit of straw. Uh, Frank, yeah, we got uh, Doughboys driving the 9R now. Go check his channel out, you'll see him. Uh, there's a link to his channel in the description. He's got the 9R that's got triples. It's a 12 wheel wonder. Does he ever sleep? No. Not if there's somebody streaming, you know.
Better pick up this little bit here we left. Also, the DVD or is it Blu-ray? Uh, hey, Peter, how you doing? Shall we feel the high death? Huh? There we go. Somehow I don't think the younger generation has the same appreciation for Sally Field as uh, as some others do. DW says I was sleeping until the notification went off. Went to get coffee. Apparently my notification woke him up, he got up, got coffee, and now he's here. Oh my goodness. Like I said, we don't sleep with some of these live streams. I have my notifications so low, I don't even know they go off when I'm awake. Or I've got so many beeps, I don't have a clue which one does what, so I just <laughs> I just ignore them all. This is no Blu-ray, just DVD. That's fine. I'm, the movie's so old, I can't fathom that Blu-ray would bring anything to it. 1977, I think. <clears throat> 40 years ago, man. Everybody needs to experience. See, see what I mean about how I don't think Sally Field has the younger generation has the same appreciation for Sally Field as 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 others. They might know her as Forks Gump's mother, of anyway, but that's about it. There is something to be said about the screaming chicken Trans Am. Yep. Oh, nice. DW got convoy as well. Just getting set up with all the classics. My oldest actually texted me tonight and says, Dad, are you working tomorrow? I said, Yeah, I'm hot. She goes, All right, good. <laughs> I don't remember that. Who was in Convoy? I don't remember that one either. Oh, I can't tell you the actors. Sears and Rubber Duck. There are 
say it had to be based on the song. Yep. Well, it wasn't too bad. We have a. Uh, Which one? Box set or? Me and the wife have an understanding that we typically don't get each other's stuff. Instead, we just focus on the kids. So the kids got all kinds of fun stuff. So the wife found this interesting laser tag game for the youngest kid. It's a pistol that shoots a little laser out. And there's this little battery operated spider that runs around on the floor. And when you shoot the spider it flips and jumps. Um, so it's all using like, you know, little little lasers and stuff, LEDs. So it's pretty cool. Just shoot this little spider all over the floor. Oh, a fair bit. <clears throat> no, he's played with it more. She also seemed to have decided that it was a great idea to buy two Nerf rifles that shoot um, Nerf darts, and they have a uh, magazine of 25 Nerf darts. And apparently they shoot at five darts a second. So after five seconds, you've emptied your 25 darts, and now you get to play, pick up darts for five minutes. All right. It'll be a week, and you'll be missing two or three of them. My little boy in there, and he has worn himself out with that thing. Yeah, she thought she was really smart, so she also bought a, uh, like, a 100-pack refill of Nerf darts. It was, like, some Amazon Prime special months ago. Uh, the problem is, the gun takes 4D batteries. So, for a 4-year-old, the, the gun is awful heavy. So, he has a hard time holding it. But, uh, the things just go thump, 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 and then you're done. The, then you get to like pick them all up. Like got a recoil. No, it, it doesn't use air or anything. It, it's got a, uh, it's got two triggers. One you pull to, to power up a belt that basically shoots them out. And then the other trigger, which actually, I guess, activates the belt and makes contact with the little darts. But her refill pack, so the darts come the darts that come with it are like have a soft rubber tip but the refill pack must be non nerf brand because they come with a hard rubber hard plastic tip they, they definitely make a completely different sound when they impact the uh, older the older sister's door because <laughs> she's 13 so she just locks herself in a room all the time so all day today we spent shooting her door with the darts. Uh, she also got braces today, so that was the darts hitting her door was probably the least of her concerns. <clears throat> hey, Thom, thanks for the sub. That's what I was telling her the other day. I was like, you better get all that chewing gum you want out. Because you're not going to be chewing it for a while. She's like, no, I can have sugar free. I'm like, I don't know about that. She got her list yeah, of... You can. You can have regular gum too. But it just keeps stuck. Yeah, she got her list of what can't eat today. This is the same place that rented out that movie theater for uh, for all of their clients to see Star Wars a couple weeks ago. This orthodontist place. That's the uh, that's that's the place. Yeah, they rented out the theater for a private showing of uh, the Last Jedi for their clients. So 
you know, they send an email out to all their customers, all their clients, and basically, if you want tickets, just let me know how many tickets you want. Come by, pick them up, and here's when the airing is. You know, be there with your ticket. It's free. That was pretty cool. So now that you're here, I wasn't going to bring it up in chat again because it's difficult to have a two-way conversation in chat. You mentioned the other day about wanting to talk to the stream team about the new project, which I assumed was Clover Creek, and that there might be something else that we want to do um, as opposed to that, based on some new things or new developments or yeah, something your, else. Your new map videos. There's been a couple, couple uh, new videos <coughs> done out that we might want to look at because it has the same principle, but the uh, it looks like it's a little bit more detailed or done a little bit better, including the uh, the edit. I haven't pulled up the Clover Creek edit other than looking at the PDA and seeing that it looked a little bit different. I haven't actually put it in game yet. Yeah, Frank, we went and watched, we saw it. Uh, it's probably, uh, I think, what, the movie came out? I think the movie came out on a Thursday, and we went and saw it that Sunday. Um, the private showing. So, when I render, I use an NVIDIA, I use my graphics card to, uh, speed through the rendering. Do you know if your software has an option to use the uh, to use the graphics, the NVIDIA chip on the graphics card? Because I can basically render it near real time. So a 30 minute video is done in about 30 minutes. I mean, it could probably be done faster, but my CPU is at 100%. And when I look at the graphics processor, it's it's at like 60 to 50 percent. So I could probably render faster than real time if I had a CPU to keep up with it. <clears throat> Ryan says, just at work, pulling a cotton pick in 24-hour shift, and then after that 24-hour shift, I'll be pulling a 48. So yeah, you must work EMS and fire. Well, I already asked you that. Boy, you getting sick again? Yes, I think I am. Those are stuffy today. I don't know if it's just the weather change, playing havoc on the sinuses, or if I'm getting sick again. I got two kids and a wife. Your wife a teacher or is she going to school? No, she's a teacher. Yeah, I got two kids in school and my wife's constantly in and out of the ER, so she brings everything home from there. Yeah. I didn't Fire. ask you. Both I didn't. Tonight, EMS, tomorrow morning, he's fired. Uh, 
I didn't ask you the other night if, uh, if everything was well, because I saw you posted that you had to go to the emergency room. No, it's a very bad idea. Alright, this field's playing and it beams. Where am I going to next? Uh, you could come over here and start spraying field 18. We're still cultivating it, but uh, we're far enough ahead that you could start spraying it and somebody could help you once we get done. And whoever gets done cultivating last can start seeding. John Deere only made trucks, huh? Oh no. Got a paper truck. So Dodge really doesn't make mess you need it to work for EM supervisor. Durango? What do you need in the back? Oh, what don't they have? Because <laughs> the wife's got a journey. It's a scaled down Durango. And uh, she can lay. It's got. Uh, she can lay the back seats down. And uh, you could pretty much lay two people in the back before you ran into the front seats. Both the Durango and the Journey have <clears throat> third row seats, but it's really a kid's seat, the back one is. When you have that seat up, you don't have any storage. But uh, <clears throat> the second row lays f completely flat, so you can have a completely flat back from the front two seats all the way back to the back. Hey, Big Rhino, how are you doing? <clears throat> Alright, so you want me to start fertilizing? 
Uh, I don't hunt big rhino, but I know Doughboy does. Spectre, do you hunt? Big rhino in chat's questioning if we hunt. I do not. I told him I didn't, but I know Doughboy does, so... I eat, but I don't hunt. Genetics J says he hunts, right? Mm, yeah, used to. As you can tell, I've got quite a bit of background <coughs> noise here. Sounds like you got a house full there, buddy. It's just two. They're playing with their Star Wars lightsabers, so it's very normal. Sweet. Nice. I want to play. We got... <clears throat> we got... We still have a Wii that works from our older kid. And when she was younger, we had... Um, we bought the, some Star Wars lightsaber duel Wii game. So once he got old enough to figure out what's going on, we put it in there and... He loves to pull up the uh, the Star Wars game and and battle the, with uh, with his lightsabers using the Wii remote. It's quite hilarious. So he he gets all in and he starts jumping around, back talking, trash talking the TV. I'll let you finish that up. I'll go over and start spraying. Frank, I'll go show you our, our uh, 12 wheeled wonder. Unless you went over and saw Doughboy using it. You brought it over here. I can see it way over there. EMSJ's vehicles to take off here. Yeah, most of our OIC vehicles are too. There it is. We're going to do something quite fun. Just because we can. See how long it takes for those guys to notice. Here's our 12 wheel wonder. Fact. It's funny that the west side always get caught up. The west side to the south side and it's called the south side of town, so the west side of town where they can't get near. Yeah. You got to go fill this uh, cedar up. Yeah, it's getting low. It needs fuel, too. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Mark DuPont. He says, hey, Doughboy and company, happy New Year's, guys. Happy New Year's, buddy. What's Mark been doing? He's been a stranger. Yes, he has. I says, so I pretty much know all my patients that I have out there. Yeah, <laughs> I know how that is. Get our frequent flyers too. 
Alright, well I guess I'll just run this down to town and fill up. I like where you parked that uh, cultivator there, Klein. Oh, you like that? Yeah, that's pretty creative. Well, you know, I wanted to park it out of the way. It's definitely out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, mission accomplished. Oh, uh, how much did did you get a bunch of snow there, Frank? I don't know what snow you got. Mark says I'm on a farm sim break after the big server thing, shooting tanks, breaking ice. Oh, he had to replace his motherboard too. I remember. Uh, the wife would have people that would call her because they were bored. They were, all, yeah, they were all elderly and uh, they were just lonely. So the highlight of their day was a uh, trip to the emergency room for nothing. Yeah, I'm little, going through a little contractor with series withdrawal. Yeah, I know, me too. I was kind of hoping he'd run into Joey again. <laughs> yeah, me too. I just, uh, I just hope Doughboy recovered from that manure wreck that he had. I keep telling y'all it wasn't me. Did you get the GPS? Yeah. Well, it was your truck, so... Yeah, somebody stole the truck. Still, I like don't know who. So Frank in chat is wanting to talk about the snow that Erie PA apparently has gotten. I wish they'd share. He said, uh, he said he saw a report on the Weather Channel saying that they had 65 inches of snow since Christmas Eve. Yes, that? sir. And they're about to get more. Oh, my gosh. That's all lake effect, right? Yeah. Mark DuPont says, I think the contractor is going to come back for a bit. I need to switch it up much multiplayer isn't good for you <laughs> uh, well mark I can hire a contractor any day now I could use a good one Ryan Ramsayers says so do you guys think autumn lakes will come out in the console uh, I don't know you'll have to ring up the uh, the map author because it's all in the map author Giants isn't going to make the map console ready themselves Yeah, you know that lake effect stuff. If it if it's cold and the wind blows in the right direction, it's going to snow. Yeah, I wish they'd share some. I'd love to go out and make some money. I bought a snow blower, so we're pretty much guaranteed to never have a giant snow ever again. Just like yeah. the uh, just like the generator I bought. Bought a generator. We pretty much haven't lost power since. Well, it's like me. They call for snow, so I put the plow on, and then it doesn't snow. Without fail, every storm. 
Uh, Brian says we have a lake effect snow out this way in northern Indiana. Mark says I'm fighting six inches of ice. Last out loud. Brian says it's negative one outside right now. And Liam says finally laughs out loud. Slow laughs out loud. Slow or snow, Liam? <clears throat> yeah, ice on a boat hull is going to be pretty bad. I do wish when version 3 comes out of this map they've got a train that comes through here. A little tight in here. We got it. You'll enjoy the contractor series, Gabe. Not that you won't enjoy any of his other videos, but the contractor series, I highly recommend you watch it. Are you kidding me? Why can I not fill here? Try another pass at this and maybe try to get a little further out. I drove down here to Tractor Supply because I thought it would just be easier than trying to deal with bags. But now it doesn't want to fill from down here. I guess we're going to have to deal with yes, bags. We have the potential of getting anything on is New Year's, or well, Saturday. Saturday. Yep. Goes right through me and hits towards you. I hope it's like the last weekend snow and it just doesn't amount to much. I'd like to get some. I, need, I make money when it snows. I do too, but I still don't like it. <laughs> uh, Brian says, I'm always getting called out. I'm the oh, only man. best chase vehicle in the county, so I go for everything. Yeah, man, you got a busy one there then. Uh, Mark says, can he not drop the cedar from the tank to refill? No, he can't. Not with the John Deere air cedars. They don't separate. They're not like the big bud. Yeah, I just thought I could do it. It'd be easier, but no, nope, not going to work. That's because you thought it would be easier. And every time you try to make something easy, you make it harder. Whoa, I'm out. 
Well, the semi is up by field nine. Yep. A remote control snowplow. <clears throat> that is rather interesting. Tell Mark I want some role play World of Tanks. <laughs> that would be interesting. There. Mark says, almost looks like you have some crop in those fields. Yeah, we actually do. We're pretty much all planted, except for the ones that we just harvested, so we could switch over to uh, beans. Oh, I got to turn my huds back on, because I'm not sure where I'm going again. I forget. Oh, there we go. Next intersection. <coughs> uh, Liam says he got three new games. Wolfstein 2, Mad Max, and Destiny 2. Nice. Yeah, now I got to be uh, careful that I don't over speed or overdrive the trucks because then I end up going off into the fields and destroying crops. Mark says, laughs out loud, it play a mildly mentally handicapped tanker in world of tanks i pretty much suck at it <laughs> <coughs> yeah i kept, kept getting blown up in that game too oh, that's a nice part <coughs> job of that cultivator i guess it needed a wash huh I put it out of the way. You could say this this map is my um, OCD vice. Maybe vice isn't the right word. <clears throat> yeah, it's where I have the uh, whatever it goes. Recorded series. I'm a bit more uh, particular. Yeah, you can tell, Mark, we've got all the fields are planted except for the three we just harvested, and they'll be planted in beans here in the next game day or so. Successfully plowed and cultivated and worked 54 fields. Liam says, I wouldn't trust driving my big rig. Heck no. Uh, Mark says what they call a support tanker. I get killed in a way to help the team every game. Try to take one tank with me. Ryan says, well, fellas, I'm off the bed here. I'm going to continue watching the stream. I'm tired. I had a long day, so you guys take care, brother. i read you be careful. Hey, yeah. James. How you doing? <clears throat> you too, buddy. Where are you at that it's minus 17 Celsius? How are you? you figure out your spectacle island issues? Not yet. I haven't had time to. <clears throat> I think it's some mod conflict. I'm going to start removing mods and putting them in one by one.
Farmer, I was, I always admire Farmer Klein's commitment to maps. He can grind like no other. Yeah, yes he can. <clears throat> grind? Coming from the guy that plays with two meter wide plows all the time? Right, right. In first person. Never flips the camera out. That's right. I think he's the one that grinds. I don't, I don't have, I don't think I've, I think the most I've ever played on a map is about 160 hours. Oh no, I just, I stick a weird stat screen that tells me that. Says I'll grind a small map, but this 24-hour thing is epic. You mean 24 day seasons? <laughs> yeah, it's it's. Liam says in Mad Max is a tanker armor <clears throat> bug rogue where you have to get something. I don't even know what it is. It doesn't tow. It's where you have to get. It's a dark top. Okay. Yeah, I was looking at that the other day, and I just realized that. Uh, whether we like it or not, Farmer Klein kind of conned all of us into a 24-day seasons challenge. I don't know if anybody else realized, but maybe I'm just a little slow on the uptake, but this UMRV thing is a 24-day season. Ah, oh, you just figured that out? Yes, I did. <laughs> I remember Rock Count making a comment at one point saying, oh, I don't know if I could ever do a 24 day season. And guess what? He's doing it. He's doing it on Serenity Valley himself. Although I'm a little worried his clock's running awful slow. I don't think he's doing anything with clock speed. No, he didn't. He's not doing it at 15. No, that's, that's the key, I think. I see other people playing these long seasons and running it. 1x or 5x, I'm thinking, man, you're going to be forever. We were running 5x here, but the goal was to, uh, I couldn't run 10. I wanted to run 10, but I couldn't, because it's on a server. <clears throat> yeah, James, I think it's best that you, uh, that you not work until January 2nd. Yeah, I'm guessing the Amazon. No, we Spectre wanted to use the uh, the horse thing, 36 meters. We whipped that out. Plus, plus we had a bunch of fields that uh, we couldn't get the third stage on until after we had growth. And I didn't feel like destroying half the crop by uh, driving on them with the trucks. Sorry, Liam, can't help you with that game. Uh, Mark Fox says the horse is cool for sure. I like it. I like the John Deere one too. Of course. Yeah. I think we got the John Deere solid spreader mod in here, we just haven't used it.
like the equipment, but not the map at all. Liam says, rubber rubber gonna put gold nuggets in his world. I don't know. Hey, Kyle, how are you doing? Let's say, let's say I'm begging you. <laughs> They're bringing up his options. I use it all the time. I'm just wondering if there's anything that's really like that in the, the real world. I've seen the uh, the hook lift stuff. Yeah, oh, hook lift there is. I don't know if there's an AR uh, somewhere in real in the real world. Well, the um. Is it that, uh, what's that, uh, Homer thing? That's kind of like an AR deal. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there are modules, trailer modules that have legs that you pull up under and then you lower the legs and somehow clamp it to the, uh, to the frame, lock it down the frame and then move on. It's it's almost like the uh, the storage, um, you know, the transport containers, the containers that go on the trains or the boats or the uh, truck beds. Containers. Yeah, kind of like that. It would be theoretically possible. I've never seen it either. Uh, I haven't played that map, JP Hill. I. Uh, Basically, on a dump truck, all you got holding on is <laughs> a set of pins through the hinges. I did a video of the map. My thoughts exactly, Mark. <laughs> Mark says, well, that's a weird way to clean a cloth. <laughs> <clears throat> well, the field's waiting for you, Klein. I'm, I'm on it. How much spraying? Oh, you're already on the field. Yeah. How much spraying we got left of you? How many fields need converted? Just the one that's in front of you with all the trucks in it? Okay. I'm, I'm already moving gear off the 15, so. Because I was, was going to say we're uh, probably empty for spray. Oh, no, we're 20%. Well, we still have some spray in the Amazon stuff, the AR trucks. I, I just refilled my sprayer, so that one should be full. Nah, it's only at 39. Oh wait, that's Massey. Hey Brandon, you know, I put that Massey sprayer on uh, on the Midtown map that I'm doing. And yeah, uh, you're only at 28%. it's good, except when you go in cab, you can't see a darn thing because it, the visibility is just awful on that. <clears throat> There's this giant screen off to your right that takes up <laughs> most of your visibility. Says, what did you do to that tractor in the pond? I didn't do anything to it. That's all Farmer Klein. Mark. I was going to say, this from the two guys that complain about me leaving the truck runner. I, I told everybody I wanted to put it out of the way. I got grief for parking the things in the middle of the roads. I parked it out of the way. Yes, yeah, Spectre, I'll shut off the motor and your sprayer too. While I'm at it. <laughs> I switched the Massey sprayer over for the horse sprayer because uh, the visibility in cab is Night, is so Night much Dave, better. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for subbing. Mark Ponce is pickling it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it worked for me. Right. Right. Now see he. In his, he should have kept the engine running. 
The, the tractor has a snorkel and the pipe, the exhaust goes up. It's good. I'm pretty sure they opened for me. Should I park? Should I park mine in there too, or? Do you not get anything on the F1 menu when you uh, when you come up close to them? You want to spray it first? Can we? Or is it easier to spray it after? Then I have chopped straw. You'll be able to see it. We uh, couldn't. We couldn't see the first time we tried on that other field, field nine. Sure, the pond's big enough for both of us. May as well. We collected straw on this one, though, didn't we? Yeah. It's got a different texture on the field. <laughs> Mark says, yeah, I'm pretty sure the starter motor will be fine sitting in a lake. <laughs> they will, it's a class. They're, they're classy things. Yeah, you couldn't start a John Deere if it was sitting in that lake like that. <clears> hey. <throat> That's why I leave this one dirty because I don't want it to get overly wet. It might uh, might rust out. All right, I'm gonna call it. All right, we'll see you later. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. I think. Take it easy, Spectre. Yep. Yeah, I should be too. Back up so I can see. Okay, long line down here. Well, we can get to this on Friday. It's uh, an hour and 47 for me. Yeah, if you got to work tomorrow. Shots on the John dog, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see if the uh, software will let you pick a um, a hardware encoder. Might find it uh, encodes a whole lot faster. Yeah, I'll check that out. Mark DuPont says, Is he dissing the JD and you just let that slide? No, I wasn't letting it slide. I just learned that sometimes I can't pick my battles. Liam says there's some sad people screwing up equipment. Yeah. I've been... Wow, yeah, I guess I have been. My counter says I've been live streaming for 27 hours. <laughs> oh. I forgot to uh, zero it out when I got back in. Oops. I know we lost sound. I'm just looking something up. Mark says new record. No, just a doughboy mistake. So in Premiere, um, I was looking something up in Premiere and wasn't paying attention. Get this thing turned around and then we'll look something else up. Alright, get back to work. DW says, we're going for a 30-hour stream, guys. Last out loud. No, <laughs> no, we're not. I got to get up for work too early.
seen it there. I just realized this. Let's close that out. <clears throat> Let's check over here at Rockhound's John Deere. He uh forgot to black out the framework. I was gonna look in Premiere and see what the setting was, but it didn't look like I could find it. But <clears throat> like on OBS under Encoder, it says Hardware Encoder. N N V E N C. See if maybe that might be an option for your video editing software to use the uh, the hardware encoder on the graphics card to uh, speed things up. <clears throat> Yeah, Mark, I was trying to look something up for Doughboy. He was, uh... Yeah, I think it's about time. He was saying that he was, uh... Cool break. Yeah, I wish I could. He was late rendering... He was late because he was rendering a video that took, like, uh... Going to be in the single day two and a half to three hours. And it was only a 30-minute video. So I was figuring that he wasn't using the, uh... Next year, I'm gonna hardware encoder. Guys, I think this is where we're gonna. I'm gonna call it. Um, yeah, he's not using Premiere. You know, he's using something here. else. But, uh, appreciate you guys hanging out and waiting, and still coming in and enjoying the stream. Stay tuned tomorrow. Like I said earlier, to make up for not having it out today, we're doing a double release tomorrow. Nine o'clock in the morning Eastern time will be the new series, and three o'clock in the afternoon Eastern time. There will be episode three for uh, UMRV, and hopefully, provided I get home early enough tomorrow, episode four will still be on the on schedule for Friday. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, we shall see you guys later. Friday night's live stream on the line, 9:30. Um, I should still be good for it. I don't think I have any last-minute uh, shows I got to play, so. Happy farming, y'all. God bless. Bye-bye. Yeah, I had, uh, like I said, I had Premiere open and directly in front. And the only reason I saw I was coming to the edge is because I've got uh, OBS on my right screen and I saw I was approaching the wall. Hey, Ryan, what's up? We're actually going to be on for about seven more minutes, and then we're going to then we're going to close it out because I like to try to keep streams to around two hours. You use Vegas Studio? Is that what I saw in your description? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm still alive for a few more minutes. They haven't released the update, Mark. Uh, they keep saying that version 3 is coming soon. Hashtag coming soon. The perennial or the forever coming soon type of a comment. So all we can guess is, is hopefully we'll have it at some point. 
Um, we do know that uh, that you will need a new save game if you're going to do 3.0. Uh, I know he's working on field boundaries, and with a PDA that looks like that, field boundaries are going to be a complete pain in the tail end. Um, <clears throat> so I'm sure that's what the big delay is, is, is uh, trying to uh, draw out all those, all of those little field boundaries with, with squares uh, when there's very, very few fields on the map that are actually squares. Um, the ones on the right side, kind of squarish. There's a few squarish fields down at the bottom. Kind of got to think maybe he started laying out those fields first. And then they get very much not square the further you go north. Um, it's kind of an interesting map the way that, that seems to work out. But I really haven't found anything broken on this. Um, I did have a little issue with the cows. Couldn't seem to get the cows clean enough. Uh, of course, we do have 457 cows, but uh, we couldn't keep them clean, so we just threw in anim animal table manners. Even when we cleaned up the uh, the uh, dirt area, we never got uh, we never got it clean beyond like 60 percent. So, ah, <clears throat> oh, thank you, Mark. Don't drink coffee, but I'll definitely drink the other. Now, I've been thinking about, I don't know if I'm going to do a New Year's stream or not. Was New Year's Monday night? Hey, Cole, is it Coli? Coli J? So if I were to do a New Year's stream, it would be Sunday night? No, that would be Monday. Monday is New Year's. Now if you do a New Year's stream, yes. If I'm streaming before midnight, it would be Sunday night. Sunday night, correct. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. We don't really do much New Year's stuff around here, because... Uh, Me and the wife were kind of old farts that could care less if it's a one year or the other. And, uh, 13 year old, she's not all much into it. And the four year old doesn't have a clue, a concept of time, so. He wouldn't understand, he wouldn't understand what, what the big deal was about one night over another. <clears throat> My six year old, she wants to party. Yeah, I could see six, you know, they, they've, they've learned the concept of time, and it's a big deal. Excuse me, she's my eight-year-old now, but she's been partying since she was six. Oh, okay. <laughs> Two years of partying non-stop, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> You're going to have a handful when she goes off to college. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, Mark, what happens on New Year's Day? Is it, is it something big? Oh, January happens? Everybody, everybody writes the wrong year on their checks for... For a good week. I've been doing some of that uh, gift delivery stuff over on ATS. Yeah. 
finished that off earlier this week. I didn't know they did things like that. I watched a, uh, I subscribed to this guy on YouTube. He's Australian. He's he does a bunch of ATS and ETS videos. And he was doing a thing about it, and so I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. <clears throat> Oh, it's still going on till the January 22nd. The guy I watch on YouTube is, is I think his channel is something like Junior Senior Gaming or something. The guy has way too much fun doing his videos. Alright guys, well, we're at that magic two hour line. And uh, I'm going to park it here at the end of the field. And we'll be back Friday. And uh, we'll be doing more of the same. We've got this field to uh, finish off. See, we've got a big old hunk of this field left to plant. And then we've got the field right in front of us. Field uh, 15 to work up. So then we will be... Uh, looks like we also need to feed our cows. we got water and base food at 24%. So we're going to need to do, with, uh, do some cow work probably some point in time. Uh, maybe Friday. Maybe next Wednesday. Not really sure. And then Saturday, join us here on the channel again. Uh, we'll be doing a live stream of, I think it's Skeletor, Skeleton uh, Farm. That's the uh, that's the Cancer Charity Map by uh, Mapper's Paradise. We are using MR and Seasons on there. While the map is not really Seasons prepared, oh, this one's already full. While it's not seasons prepared, we're still using seasons on it, just because we can. Uh, let's see. I think he already filled this one up. Oh, this one's not full. I'm just going to fill this up, and uh, we'll call it there. When is full? Oh, that's a sprayer. That is. How much is that? 7,000. Alright, guys. So, until next time, happy farming.